Researchers seem to have struck out when it comes to finding a chemical cure for cribbing and weaving, and a new thoroughbred adoption service already has some success stories. I'm Erin Ryder, news editor of The Horse, your guide to equine healthcare. Welcome to the Ryder Report for November 11th. Don't throw away that cribbing collar just yet. Finding a cure for common stereotypies such as head shaking, cribbing, and weaving continues to elude veterinary researchers as the dietary supplementation of the antibiotic Virginia mycin is removed from the pool of possibilities. Stereotypies, repetitive and apparently functionless behaviors, are common in intensively managed horses. They're problematic because they reduce normal rest and eating behaviors and can cause unnatural wear and tear. From previous research, there's some thought that lowered pH levels in the hindgut might cause oral stereotypies. Faculty of Veterinary Science at the University of Sydney checked this out by using Virginia Myosin to increase the pH in the hindgut of horses both with and without stereotypies. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The Virginia Myosin had no significant effect on cribbing, weaving, frequency of eating, lying down, urinating, defecating, plasma cortisol levels, heart rate, blood glucose peak response, or digestibility of feed. So, if Virginia Myosin alters the pH in the hindgut as previously suggested, then this change in acidity does not appear to affect signs of physiological distress or establish stereotypies in adult horses. Read more about this study at article 13024 on thehorse.com. Speakers at the recent Purina Equine Veterinary Conference presented information on forage options for horses with commonly encountered special needs, including recurrent airway obstruction or chronic laminitis. These recommendations covered both nutrient selection, as in what sort of hay and or feed might be best for these horses, as well as management strategies and feeding methods. One example for owners of horses with heaps would be immersing hay in water so it is completely wet before feeding it. This quick dunk is as efficient in diminishing dust and mold as soaking it would be, but it does not leach out nutrients. Read article 13042 for more recommendations from this presentation. To help you get started on your holiday shopping, the Horse.com's photo store is offering 20% off all photos and all photo products. Getting this discount is easy. After filling your shopping cart, proceed to checkout where you will type in coupon code THDEC08. New photos are added weekly, so if you haven't checked out the photo store lately, visit the Horse.com slash photos. A $20,000 reward has been offered to anyone with information leading to the capture of whomever shot a pair of Tobiano paint horses in their pasture. Michael and Mary Ann Roundtree discovered their horses dead in the pasture at their Livermore, California ranch. The horses were used in parades and therapeutic riding programs as well as to visit children's hospitals. The Roundtrees began the reward fund with $5,000 after the horses were discovered on October 22nd. Since then, public donations continue to increase the reward. For more information, see article 13015 on thehorse.com. According to a statement released by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services on November 5th, none of the horses that tested positive for pyroplasmosis during a recent investigation remain on Florida properties. Six quarantines will remain in effect until the properties pass 60 days after exposure, tests on remaining horses are negative, and no positive or foreign ticks are found. For more information, see article 13035 on thehorse.com. Two horses have already found new homes through the Thoroughbred Adoption Service launched on thehorse.com just a little more than a week ago. The list now includes about 30 thoroughbreds available for adoption from private homes and rescue organizations across the United States. The available horses range from yearlings to a 21-year-old gelding. All are offered free to good homes. You can access the Thoroughbred Adoption Services listing via thehorse.com's homepage. To learn more about this service, see article 13006. That's it for this week's Rider Report. Visit thehorse.com for all the latest news on equine healthcare, management, and welfare. I'm Erin Ryder, news editor of The Horse, your guide to equine healthcare. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.